make some commentary happen. I think we're going to jump right into some of the late bracket doubles. If I'm not mistaken, we're moving into losers finals here. We got Raza Stroder, uh, Mars Zanotto. Yes. Kind of what we anticipated, I think, coming into the tournament. Uh, yeah, pretty much the, the stronger teams, they made it this far. Um, I think, yeah, now that we're in the top three, like these are the teams that we expected. Right. There I were quite a few upsets though, along the way. I know right. one of the bigger ones was uh, Marvelous Marco and Suga actually took out um, Eon and Zan, who who uh, won SoCal Chronicles doubles last time. Right. They beat him like round two. So. And then uh, S2H and uh, Master Mario too also uh, oh. knocked them out of the tournament. So. Yeah, I see. They, uh, I, I would have picked them in the top four, and they probably right. didn't. Did they break even uh, top eight? No, yeah. they didn't. They were. Uh, Dang. Nine so uh, shout outs to <laughs> Cookie Slayer and uh, Aeon, just uh, you know. But everybody, you know, that's a, that's the way the game. Right, this sometimes. game is still so early that right. it's like it's not a surprise. Anything's gonna happen at right. this moment. But uh, no surprises there. It looks like uh, Roz is gonna be rolling out the Daisy. They're getting it all set up here. Oh, the so. Daisy. Yeah. As you guys know, um, actually, actually, some of you guys might not know this. The differences between Peach and Daisy are almost non-existent. Right. Uh, the only minor hurt boxes. Hurt yeah, boxes there's situation. very tiny minor, very extreme situational situation uh, where the hurt boxes matter. The reason that Rosal plays Daisy is because of the, the side BQ. Uh -huh. When Peach does her side B, the Peach Bomber, she goes put cha, uh -huh. and then Daisy just goes cha. So it's oh. harder to react to. So he's, he's trying to get as much of an edge as he can. Yep. Yep. He's willing to sacrifice the super situational hurt box thing for exactly. an actual audio cue that people right. might pick up on him. Right, right. Interesting. It kind of reminds me, like, some of the matches I was seeing earlier today, I saw Rosal pick up a lot <laughs> of the, uh, I guess it's Daisy Bomber, not Peach Bomber, uh, off stage, and yeah. maybe. You know, in a game of frames, that audio cue is probably worth a few frames. Yeah, so that's yeah. the difference between the, you know an air dodge and a hit. Right. So if Rosso is using Peach, that means he's standing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it looks like starting off on Pokemon Stadium two. Here's game one. Right, and Stroder of course going Greninja. No surprises there. They got an interesting pick up or a switch here with. Yes, yeah, uh, Mars going the, the Ike, which we've seen before, but Zenodo yes. with the Palutena. Yeah, he doesn't use Diddy anymore. Right. Uh, I'm sure he still has one, but Diddy's not as good as he was in the last game. I wonder at what That's point they decided so to make the, uh, the switch, because early bracket, I know that Zenodo was using a lot of Peach. Oh, and, and actually, they're running like the true uh, Anubis game. Right, I heard with about Lucario. that. Yeah. <laughs> Mars is going Lucario, but right now they're just going, you oh, know. Man, uh, F smash finishing out Rosal Stalker and throws in his time already. Mars Mars one of those players that likes to uh, heal themselves and really get in their opponent's head too. Yeah, he's definitely if he's on the heat check, he's about to go on fire. He's yeah. the first player to know and he's just like feeding for those kills. Like he'll style on the seat just right. to get the message across. And of course, uh, Razo and uh, you know uh, Schroeder no slashes themselves in doubles. Especially Schroeder, one of the more uh, you know well yeah. well renowned doubles players that we have in the bracket. He's teamed with like players like Elegant and Best and Bestness, and have found right. a great success every time. But I got to see uh, Razo kind of the hometown favorite in this. Uh, yeah, you know. actually, um, you know who's in Grands? Uh, waiting in Grands is uh, Leo and uh, Wadi. So Raza was like our last hope. So, it's the last hope, yeah. yeah he's the last hope for SoCal. Yeah, right, so it. the hometown faithful hoping for their boy Raza to pull through got with it. that Daisy. All right, class, good SoCal Arizona team up. So far, not so good though for that uh, for that yeah. racing behind by a stock. I haven't taken a single stock off the boot yet. Oh, right there takes uh, the first stock off Mars. It's still quite a deficit. Right. Yeah, that percentage, that percentage racking up, and they're already on their second stock. Looking to be in a little bit of trouble. There's another Ooh, stock draw. Oh no, I think uh, Schroeder might have accidentally uh, took out his own teammate there. They're both trying to um, punish Marge's counter, and then they hit each other. Uh, so that's unfortunate. That probably wouldn't happen if they're static teammates, but you know, right, right. They, they still have some. You know, they, have, they have a few games to figure out some of the uh, the kinks to get the game plan really under Zinoto, control. Zenodo catching Schroeder with an up there, really high up there, taking his stock as well. And now Red can go down to the last stock. Yeah, Blue Team just did a very good job of controlling the stage and isolating their opponents from each other, and they just let Mars go to work and clean out that stock. Yeah. All right, huge deficit for Schroeder here. 2 v one situation. Oh, oh that's one way to finish it. <laughs> All right, that was that was a statement. That's an exclamation point for game one. Yeah. Going to, uh, you know, the the invading forces from the outside. Zenodo Mars, Zenodo Haley from Michigan.
Mario Tailing from that uh, New, the, England? New England yeah. area. So and let's see what they're able to uh, to make of it. It was just kind of from the go. The uh, the, the team of Sonoto and Mars were just carrying so much momentum. Let's see what sort of changes that the blue team is, or not blue team, the red team's able to able to change. Maybe try to get an early lead and work from a lead instead of a deficit. Yeah, Schroeder hovered his uh, cursor over Roy for a minute, but he switched back yeah. to Schroeder. I mean, Schroeder, back to Greninja. That's what I I mean, he's been going, obviously, plays Greninja very well. He's been playing Greninja pretty much Since all tournament. Smash 4. So, sometimes yeah. you just got to throw what you know. And even if you, you like feel like in your gut, like, oh, I want to switch characters, I know that if you lose that game, you're going to be like, later on, man, I wish I just stayed my main. Right, right. <laughs> yep, yep. I just stuck to the game plan. Why did I change? I was a fool. But it does happen. Uh, right now, it's uh, virtually even. Both two characters already in their 70s. And yeah. Red Team with a bit of stage control trying yeah. to put in some work. I'd say so far a better start than it was earlier. Ooh, Raza catching that side beam. This time, uh, Red Team has Blue Team kind of tapping in the corner there. And there's that Daisy Bomber we were talking about. Just right, right. Away. No <laughs> warning, just diving in. Just, just cha. <laughs> no, no ha cha, just cha. Um, Mars able to get back, and oh, this is a miscue. They both went after Razo right there. I think they hit each other. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Red Team also way better start this time. Right. Is that, yeah, anything with the lead, you know, that's kind of how it starts. Uh, you, you lose that first game, and you kind of just dig deep and try to figure out what the answer is. And nice. sometimes just the reset helps. Oh, nice catch from both players there, finishing off. Now they took the lead right back from the other two's hands. It's a stock lead, but you know the percentage on Sonoto plus that percentage on Mars. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. We'll see how it shakes out. That's like the hard part. Of it, you know, it's if you're doing the horse race, that is a doubles match. Sometimes it's really difficult to tell. There's no clear cut person or yeah. team that's uh, out in front overall. Oh, all right. And good punishments by Raza all the way around, getting a forward and a dash attack on both the blue team. Razo trying to go for the counter edge guard against Ike, but uh, a little early, a little early. Yeah. Toad's like, uh, <laughs> a little, uh, like, wait. Like, what's going on? <laughs> He's the first one to the party. He's like, man, maybe we should have waited. Oh just man, what happened there? Uh, Razo was able to get a daisy bomb and then, and then uh, hit Mars, crashed into something, and just went off the top, losing that stock. Oh, oh whoa. so many hitboxes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Yo, it, it almost looked like Mars was about to get gimped real fast. Oh, uh, big but play by Zenoda though. With Spike. Oh, combos? Oh, I think Zenodo was trying to rescue uh, Mars from a combo there, but then just put him into another color there. And, yeah, it's Schroeder in a little bit of yeah, trouble. Mars the ledge. Him out. All right. Oh, no, that up there will be catching it, taking that stock. Yeah, definitely. I think Mars caught him being a little over aggressive and just reversed it with an up air and took the stock for it. Yeah, so where are you going? They're both kind of just playing like two 1v1s at the moment. I think that's like, and that's kind of where it's uh, fell a little bit out of hand on the red team side. They started off so strong, playing really good synergy doubles, and now it's kind of gone back into that right. isolation play one on one. And blue team has been doing a much better yeah. job holding the stage. That's what the blue team wants, right? right. When it comes down to one v ones, Mars and Zenodo are on a, like a, a higher caliber than yeah. you would say Roger and Shogun. Unquestionable. Uh, <laughs> I think Zenodo is just trying to time the uh, invincibility on the curl, but not hit by the side special. That side beat from Mike almost took out Razo. All right, coming out with the share stock. And Red Team could do it if they put away Zenodo's stock. Right. And play the 2v1, but they got it. Oh, it's a tall order, as you say. There goes that hope of the 2v1. Yeah. Back to Destroder versus Blue Team. Not as bad as last time, but oh, OK. Oh, How are you going to get away though. from that? <laughs> <laughs> and they're just playing that edge guard situation. He's just stuck there. Like, where can you go? But your ninja being ever so slippery, he's actually managing. To, he's actually making it work. Yeah, Myers taking the front now. It's Zenoda just wanting to hold on to the stock the best he can. Oh, that's gonna be a okay. good setup. Good awareness by Zenoda to throw out that up here, and they're able to take it. And they're sitting 2-0. Yeah, this game was a lot closer than last time. Right. though. It looked a lot more doable. Yeah, like the first one was like, yeah, as you said, it was a statement. Right. Second one, they're catching up. Right. But uh, this might be too late. We're already in game three, but reverse serial is definitely possible as well. And they're quality doubles players, so I, I, you know, as difficult as it is for a team to overcome the the caliber that is 
Zenodo and Mars. It's very, it, it's doable on Razo and uh, Schroeder's side. They just gotta, you know, dig deep, go get a little bit more than they've been giving out the last, uh, the last few games. And it's one right. game at a time. They win this game, win the next one, yep. and then they're in a, within striking range. But it's one game at a time. We're coming here into game three. Both players, or both teams, locked into play. And here we go. Shoto was hovering his curse over a Pokemon trainer for, <laughs> for a second this time, but again, he goes back to Greninja. Probably the best choice in my opinion. And I wonder if that's just like, maybe is that, maybe is that Shade's a, a little self-doubt about the team composition. Um, you know, you don't want that happening this late into bracket. You right, kind of want right. to be, you know, in gear and ready to go. Like, you made it this far, too. Anyway. Right. That could just be him, you know, like just flicking the control stick yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a lot of different things. Just messing with the audience, <laughs> like, hot sight, you thought I was going to go Roy? Nah, no, not, not right now. And again, red team with a slight lead and stage advantage coming out here in the early goings. Zenodo with a big play battling back and controlling the stage. A lot of action going on the right side of the stage. I'm surprised there's no back here for Mike right there. I thought Mark might have been able to clip uh, Roswell for an early stop when they were recovering. Oh, a down smash will be catching Mars there. But the back here is going to catch Blazo. Yeah, as soon as Red Team makes a big play, Zenodo just rebuttals with yeah. his own big play, and the stocks are even. Yep. Again, Red Team is separated. They're all playing 1v1. They don't want that. Except right there. That was nice there. Yeah, even right there, they had, you know, Mars one on one. And I know the threat of Zenodo with invincibility is coming in, but they got to just maybe be a little more aggressive in those 2v1 situations yeah, and yeah. try to get the mileage. Exactly. You gotta take advantage of it as much as you can. Um, ooh, that was a nice dodge, yeah, up smash. That would've hit me, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I would've landed right into a nice up smash. And there's sometimes when you watch the matches and you're like, oh, I would've gotten hit by that. <laughs> you're like, that's how you know the other guy's a good player. Plus it's Ike, and that up smash hits pretty oh. much everywhere oh, on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> that is huge. All right, Schroeder is still holding off his first dog, doing pretty good. Yeah, he's MVP in this. If he can keep this stock for just a little bit longer, maybe if they steal one more, that'll be that'll put them in a very comfortable lead. Oh no, that up air. And that's the unfortunate part about Greninja is up air as a kill option. Because it's multi-hit, it lags so long, so that leaves Greninja open to being poked by, you know, the opponent team. That means Raza's gotta come in and make sure right. and stuff any attempt to stuff uh, the up air from Greninja. Yeah. Alright, the blue team is slowly taking back the lead. Oh, no wait. There's that quick one down to the board here. <laughs> yep. You gotta get more of that, you know. Oh no, but Schroeder's just getting comboed by his own teammate and the other opponent's uh, teammate as well. Ra Raza drops that stock too. Uh, Mars in the jungle position is just too strong. Oh, speaking oh, of, oh my god. 2v1s. It's like Aces. I, I heard Aces was here today. <laughs> They're yeah. playing tennis in Smash Ultimate yeah. too. And that's what you gotta do in 2v1s. You get, you get rid of one opponent, they're off stage. You don't have to bother with them. Just go for the one that uh, you can guys combo together. And uh, <laughs> Mars almost got the read of a lifetime. Oh, back there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, he's going to get punished for it. Won't die for it yet. Wow. Oh, yeah, Speaking of reads of a lifetime. Right. Still living, though. All right, no one jump into the abs now. All right, good. <laughs> oh, oh he no, but he hit his own teammate. Yeah, but he's still alive, though, so that's all that matters. Oh, oh, oh. the reversal kind of. I think you know kind of edge guard him, but sort of got it back there instead. Yeah, nice little guard break in that um, reversal situation. All right, everyone's down for their last part for Wazo. is that super kill percent. He needs to super be careful right now. And he's got to get through Mars. Good cover by Schroeder to come in. It's just scary. Fighting Ike is Peach is, like, not an not a, uh, easy task to do. And you can see that Mars knows the situation. You saw him kind of let off the gas on yeah. fighting against Schroeder and start going after Raza, and eventually does let him down for it. There's Raza stop going to go. Uh, coming down to another 2v1 for Schroeder once again. Even closer than last time as well, but again, you're in the 2v1 position, and that's hard to deal with. I think Schroeder was kind of hoping that maybe that up air <laughs> right. would kill Mars and put them right back into the game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, just stand up there, there <laughs> see what happens. Oh man, they're back here. Yeah, this is not looking good for our hero in red. This might be uh, yeah. a 30. Ooh, uh, air dodge. Oh, oh nice good foot stall. That's amazing. That's a huge play. Right, he Hope burns eternal for the red team. You know, in situations like this, like when you when you get rid of that one uh, player. Oh wait, okay. If you're like shorter, you're like, oh wait, I got I got one of them. Oh. Uh, Oh, still living. So he has Zenodo See, with the back here, but not enough to kill. He's got that fire now. He's like, wait, I already got one. I can do it now. And then Zenodo uh, still gets the back here. Yeah, here you go. You know what the game plan was. Zenodo